Hey, I'm Gary from P.I. Aquaponics in York Springs, Pennsylvania. We also have a store in Maryland called All Good Garden Supply in Finksburg. Today we're going to be talking about carbon filters in your tents. We have a lot of customers have problems with this. Um, we just had a customer, he started using Feather Tea here by Nectar for the Gods and Photosynthesis Plus. Both of these absolutely stink. So a carbon filter will clean your air for you. So how does this work? Um, we have a fan up here, exhaust fan in top and we're, air, we're cooling the light down at the same time. We have our carbon filter over here. Um, this customer has his tent set up like this, and even though it's a very good way for it to flow, it's actually not a good way to be airtight. So, um, if this fan was over here, pushing the air through the light, any air escaping through the cracks or your ducting will go back into the room and then back through the carbon filter again, and then you're gonna have clean air. Right now, with the fan sucking, if anything is getting through these cracks or over here in the ducting, um, especially the ducting, the ducting has a wire spinning through it. So when you put the clamp on, it just sometimes not really tight. Um, trying to tape everything up, it just makes a huge mess when you have to move stuff around. Um, I definitely don't recommend taping your seams of your light because you need to get that open and clean your lens. All the thing about in gray rooms is negative pressure, which also happens when you have your fan sucking air out of it. Um, when you have this totally sealed up, this is a 5x5 five five Gorilla Grow Tent, by the way. Um, when you have it totally sealed up, your wall should be sucking in a little bit. You have flaps at the bottom. Those are bringing in your fresh air. So you've got your cool air by the ground, which has most carbon in it too, coming up through the plants and then out the filter. Um, another option is an inline filter. This is can be outside the tent, and you can blow through it. You don't want to blow into a regular can filter outside the tent. The white stuff on the filter is a pre-filter. And when you blow into a filter, you're pretty much getting dust in there and you're clogging up your carbon. And they just don't work. They're not designed to work like that. Unless you buy the, the specific inline filter. Um, these filter covers can come off easily too and cleaned. Um, wash them in the sink with warm water and they clean right up. A lot of people come in and ask for new ones and I'm like, just wash it. And you can get a, you know, a full use out of that cover with any filter without having to buy a new one. So, so we're gonna show you the other way to hook this up with the fan on the other side and that'll be a lot more airtight for odor control. A little bit about fans real quick. We just moved that over here. Um, fans usually have a shape where it kind of goes into a cone. That's the way the air blows. So obviously you want the air blowing that way. Um, another very important thing is always have your fan either totally horizontal or totally vertical. Um, if it's on even a slight angle, the bearings are gonna go out. And these fans all have warranties. They have great warranties, no matter what brand you get. Um, another thing about air tightness of your tent why you wouldn't put your fan over here is the seam of this, these fans, some different brands have leaked out of the seam. So that's another source of your uh, your uh, odor problem. But now we're gonna go ahead and get our ducting hooked up. And I usually use a piece of ducting to go between the filter and the fan. Cause if you try to drill through here into your fan, it voids the warranty on the fan. So and we've gone through that with companies. Um, we'll watch what we do.
All right, so we got done flipping this the other way. Um, so pretty much your air in here, your fans going, pushing that way. Your air is coming in through this this carbon filter, through your fan, through the light, taking the heat out of the light, and then going out the out the room. Um, and then you're doing your negative pressure in here. Your wall should be pulling in when you got this thing running. Um, if any air leaks out of the crack around the fan or your ductwork or your reflector, it's just going to go back into the room and back to the filter. So that's how you make it, uh, your room a lot more airtight. And I guess I shouldn't say airtight, smell tight. <laughs> and I hope you guys continue to watch our videos. I'm Gary from PH Aquatics in York Springs, Pennsylvania. We also have a store in Maryland called All Good Garden Supply. So check us out. We're on YouTube, Facebook, um, Instagram. We post stuff all the time. Have a good one.